And welcome back to more boss fights. Already safe stated, so we're diving right in. So, this is Six Tails. I challenge you to a fight. So if we analyze him, he has the last tank parts. So once I beat him, I'll have all the sub tanks in the game. He's level 96, he drops, I mean, uh, he, you can steal life and weapon energy, whatever. So the main thing is he drops tank parts. But this guy has a very, very interesting gimmick. He has... You have to beat him in 10 turns, starting on his first turn. So what we're going to do here... Normally I don't do this to conserve a little bit of hyper mode, but we're gonna hyper mode right away with zero. You might have seen on his stats that he has an absurd amount of health. So having the ability to go first is killer here. So we got about 5% of his health there. Yep, there we go. If he takes six tails before. 10 turns pass. Now Cinnamon got really smacked here. So the main thing you want to do is just dump. Just dump all the damage you can possibly do. This turn I'm just going to generate a heal because Cinnamon got really smacked and I don't want to use a sub tank for that. If I get lucky, I can maybe get to 6, but I'm gonna probably only get 5. Yeah. So that'll get her close to full health, but the increased defense should make up for it. Here goes nothing. So, you basically wanna action trigger every single turn, but make sure you survive every time uh, 6 tails gets a turn. Full power! Here we go! Because once you, if he hit, if you don't kill him in 10 turns, he will full heal. And obviously, he also gets a power up and he will demolish you. You're finished. And that's not the worst part, like, if you somehow survive 10 turns after that, he will actually self-destruct and you win. But you won't get as much uh, XP and other, other rewards for uh, like money and stuff, which is not a big deal. But you know, XP is XP. All right, he missed. Sweet. So right now we're at pretty good pace. Full power. Here we go. So this fight, like all these fights, are going to be mostly me spamming action triggers, but I might also take some turns to think of my actions, because uh, some of the later ones, even though this one is gimmicky, all I have to do is just damage him as much as possible, so not too big of a deal. Let's see, I believe that's the third turn tr three, so. Alright, we got a third of his health then at that point. You're finished. When I was little though, I couldn't really gauge how much uh, health he had. I was like, dang dude, this guy's, this guy's got a million health or something because like, even with my extremely powerful characters, I was like not making a dent to his health. Here's where we gotta be real careful though. The cinnamon is out of hyper mode. Well, not the worst thing that could have happened. 
she might go down if he doesn't have Doken, but that is okay. Still not the worst thing that could happen in this fight. I might get him. Yep, there we go. Just barely got him enough. Sweet. I did it. So Zero leveled up, so he got a full recovery. X, I believe he didn't waste too many turns. Cinnamon, however, used up all her hyper mode turns. That's seven tails. Uh, let me check my status here. Uh, and actually, X only has three turns left. Hmm. Let me think about it. Okay. So, I'm gonna give it a shot real quick. But if I don't do well, I'll just uh, load the save state, go back and heal, and come back. So we'll see how this one goes. So in this fight... I challenge you to a fight. We get two Seven Tails. They, uh, they don't seem anything special in terms of stats, but uh, here's their gimmick. They're just like Belladonna's. So they heal every turn for 10% of their current health. And they get stronger every time you hit them. So. First things first. X's ultimate armor is out of the, the window until you take one of them down. So you're actually better off using X-Fire for, for once. Also, since there's two of them, uh, let me check their moves real quick because I need the refresher. Uh, they don't have anything in particular for healing or anything like that. But actually, now that I look at this, they actually heal for 25%, not 10%. So, yeah. So we'll have them up with zero right away. He'll be our main source of damage this time. As much damage as possible here. Zero might be strong enough to do most of the damage I need to kill one of them in one or two turns, which is great. But uh, not this turn. Not this turn. Pretty close, though. So we send him in here. Hopefully she survived. Alright, she did survive. And luckily X got his turn, so we'll X fire. And I think we might be able to pull off just the straight up kill with um, his action trigger on the other guy. Oh, not quite. Oof. Okay, he's hurting us a lot. We need to destroy him now. There we go. There we go. With zero here, we're actually gonna pull a heal on everybody. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the bed after this fight, so I'm just gonna use sub tanks if I need to. You're finished. I think positioning would matter with what uh, RNG you get for the move, but it's completely random.
All right, hopefully this will be enough. Nope. We'll skip a turn. Rather not smack him with cinnamon if I don't need to. All right. go and we win Lights out. all right We're blowing through these ones so we get some figure tokens and vitality missiles X leveled up which is nice but we're just gonna go back but first let me pick these up all right so, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So, we're just gonna go straight into the fight. I challenge you to a fight. So, there's two eight tails, and I believe. Oops, let me go to analyze. So, unfortunately, while their drops are awesome. They are not guaranteed drops, unfortunately. But hopefully I, we get some of these. Maybe the full specs, maybe once. One of them would be nice. But um, they're just these guys are just strong. They have about 60k, a little under 60k health. The main thing to note, while they don't have self-destruct or anything like that, they do have SOS. So your best bet, unless you can take them out in a single turn each, you're better off uh, spreading the damage out. So this is it. with zero here, I'm just gonna give them a kick real quick. One each. So. Got less damage on that guy. That's fine. Transform. Unfortunately, X is still a little bit too slow. So he won't get a turn. Ultra Giga fire. Alright, not bad. Alright, getting a little smack, but he's living. Here goes nothing. If I play my cards right, I might actually be able to take down the one uh, on the left with X here. And the one on the right with Zero's Calamity Arts. Is that enough? Yes. Everybody, this is it. Sweet. All right, here we go. You're finished. Uh, not quite. Please, no. Dang it. Well, gotta deal with another one. I kind of banked it, but it's fine. We'll just deal. 
heal up. And I will take them out this turn, no no doubts. Dang it, I messed up on that one, but it's fine. We don't need it 100%. Alright, he's gonna go down. And this guy's weak enough to just demolish so. And he's dead. Alright, so. I did it. Nice, a full specs plus 10. Simon leveled up, so we don't have to worry about uh, recovering her hyper mode, but let's see. X has 7, 0 has 5. So. I'm gonna just risk going uh, to the next one. So there's just a bunch of treasure here. It's mostly music. Uh, but if we keep going down this way, we end up at a vending machine. You're like, what? So we're gonna get all the figurines from the last two chapters, chapters 9 and 10. I think I might be short because I think uh, the last Tails clan member here, yeah, he's gonna drop one. Or at least there's gonna be one in the, uh, in the room or something. Yeah, we're gonna be one figure token short. So, I'm just gonna take on the last one here with our current amount of hyper mode. Let me save state real quick. Uh, just as a note, the how I managed to level up as quickly as I could along with only my select characters. It has all it only has all to do with Monopoly. Being able to claim all the XP of the final bosses for one character makes it really easy to grind up to at least the mid 40s. Going higher than that takes a little bit longer, but in the 50s, these guys are no, no slouch in the damage department. But overall, as you can see, with a good enough strategy, you'll uh, annihilate them for the most part. But, anyways. We're gonna take on Nine Tails, the last member of the Tails clan. My strength is unparalleled. All right, so he kind of boasts. Instead of challenging us to a fight, he just straight up, straight up says his power is unparalleled. Oh, I was wrong. So here, Nine Tails has the last build hyper in the game so I need to work in getting Marino in this fight so that's gonna be great I forgot about that it's fine well we'll deal with it as you can see in the stats he has 400 power which will annihilate us also he does have a little under a hundred K health which is not the most out of all the uh, clan members, but still, really respectable amount of health. So we're gonna hyper mode with zero here to increase our chances of survival. Gonna give him a kick. Ah, uh, nine fragments, she's dead. So, 9 Fragments hits for triple 9, so 999 
nine times, which adds up to about a little under 9,000. Just short of it. Oops. Well, we need to uh, give her a backup. Hopefully she gets a turn, otherwise this is going to be end up badly. Shit. Alright. It's fine. We'll deal. At least Zero and X are alive in Hyper Boat. So we're just going to dump damage here. I'm really hoping Cinnamon actually gets a turn this time because I need to swap her out for Marino for a few moments. Luckily, X has auto barrier automatically, so he barely managed to survive because some of the hits only did half damage. So we're gonna dump damage again. You're finished. I like when I get two or three in a row of the crit. Alright. So. We need to switch in Marino real quick. Here I go. I'm gonna hyper mode with her. Now the real fun starts. So give us enough speed. Yep. So we're gonna give one to X here real quick. So we're gonna have to gamble it here with a 50 action trigger. Here goes. It's not terribly bad to time, but it's a lot riskier. There we go. That's one. That. We got the build weapon energy, so we're gonna have to skip some turns here. Let's see, uh... Actually, there's a good chance to do this. So, uh, zero is back to full. Can I give one also to X? Now they're both full. Can I action trigger again with Marino? Here goes. Just wait for it, just be patient. There we go. Take that. We got the build hyper. And we'll swap back to Cinnamon. There we go. Hyper mode. Alright. Oh boy. Full power. Here we but uh, you might notice also Cinnamon, even though she's just smacking him with regular attacks, she does a lot of damage. That's mostly because of the Fragment Beta. And the fact that she hits five times with the current weapon I have on her. Alright, so since Zero can't really do much to him with that full weapon energy, we'll just heal X. X has been barely beating out the damage here that Ninetales is doing. Dang it. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I could just probably beat him with a, a Zero action trigger, but... Alright, not too bad, thanks to our hyper mode defense. So, we're about to win, I think. 
full power. Here we go. Yeah, we pretty much won. So I know I, I probably a little overhyped the fights along with kind of overleveling a little bit. But honestly, when I was a kid, I actually didn't did beat these guys until I was like level 70 or something because I was just really bad at the game. But now that I have strategies and other stuff and I know more about the fights themselves, these guys weren't too bad. So with that, we get a weapon for Axel. The Ancient Gun, which is his most powerful weapon and has extra damage on boss enemies. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I pretty much beat every single boss and enemy in the game, so... But we'll still equip it for our purposes. Uh, our last build, Hyper. I'll just save, just for a memento. We get X, Tails, Weapons, and uh, some weapons for other... These are all sketches, by the way. And we'll get the last figure token item here. Alright, so with that, we have completed the basic figure collections. And, oh, I forgot to actually check these out. So I'll show them off in a little bit. Uh, these are all the, tr there's uh, five, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, treasure tokens uh, collections, which unfortunately I can't show. Uh, what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll just put up some pictures of the the treasure token figurine collection, so you guys can actually at least see them. But I'm not gonna take the time to try to run a Game Boy emulator so I can choose the radar and try to find them. If you're inclined to look for that, you can always do that yourself. Also, I'll be going to the Skyrim right now. I know I could just end the video right now, but there's some stuff I can show off in the Skyrim now that we've beaten the game completely. Once I actually leave the sealed area right here. Okay, I'll see you guys in the Skyroom. Okay, and we're finally on the Skyroom. So, as you can see here, I have a different poster than last time. This one I unlocked by completing all the deployment pickups. So, all the zones have been cleared. Um, I'm trying to remember how I got some of these. I actually had this one before I got the the Hunter Base one, I think it's called. Yeah, Hunter Base. We'll just leave Hunter Base on. In the music room here, we actually got all the music in the game now. You can even listen to uh, theme songs like Spiders. Say one of the better theme songs. Also, go back to our Nine Tails fight. And all the types of uh, fights and the zones. And also the uh, probably copyrighted music here parts. We also have access to all the video clips. I'm not sure why this one specifically is unlocked when you beat the game, but you can't see all these other one, like end game ones from uh, 48 to 55 and 57 until you beat Nine Tails, which is well Eight Tails I think is where the last one is. Checking our challenges here on the data, we collected all the posters. We collected all the normal figurines, all field items, all tokens, all videos, and all music files, along with all the discs. We got an extra amount of things, so 
we actually get the deadly trio for collecting all the other posters or was it the sketches but uh there's nine tails Reflessian, and duckbill mole going to the figures i'm gonna show them off real quick here so we got basic ones from chapters one to ten We got the Deluxe Giga City Islands. This one would be the Metoir collection by killing 100 Metoirs. These are the Prions specials 2, 3, and 4. Or 1, 2, 3, but I'm just doing 2, 3, 4 because that's the special. Mini Mix, Retro Mix, Premium Password collections. And I think that's all I got because I don't have the, the other ones. Going to Files. We actually finally get Grave Ruined Space. And we already got all the story ones. If you want to get a little bit of extra lore, you can read through these up to uh, about Giga City. But uh, from Central Tower up to Grave Ruins, it's mostly just info on the actual locations. If we go to Sketches, we can see a lot of concept art. Some armors for X, busters for X, weapons for Zero, weapons for other characters. Uh, those are the last ones I got actually. Uh, zero weapons, cinnamon weapons, Massimo weapons, there's shadow. Uh, this would be the original design for Dr. Psyche's second form, which is actually kind of funny looking. It reminds me of um, from Sonic Adventure 1, uh, one of the boss final boss fights for that game of Eggman. We got a couple other, like, this is Reflessian's original sketch, I believe. I want to say that was probably a Ferrum. There's Nana. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. Maybe just female Reploids in the, like, city. Looking at the far right design, maybe this was an early design for Cinnamon, but I'm not 100% sure. Nana again. This is R, I believe, because he has a little bird there. These are other me 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 Metroids, Reploids. There's Godil. There's Cinnamon. Ale, who unfortunately only had one, uh, two cutscenes dedicated to him, and then he's gone. There's Barno. The D Rex. Some other enemies. Oh, yeah. I like how this boss has uh, the missile just has that as just in English like everything else is in Japanese but the missile has to say oh yeah <laughs> anyways get a couple more enemies just like a nice little view of most of the prions in the game there's the actual and uh, what made it in the game for Dr. Psyche there's uh, Axel, Red Up Scar, Boat Toes, Ferrum, Scarface Redips, updated spider, I guess. There's a steel Massimo. Maybe he had more to do eventually. I mean, uh, in the early drafts of the game, but unfortunately, um, not much else happened. There are some early designs for Marino. They actually ended up with that middle one right there. But I kind of like some of these ones, color scheme at least. There's uh, Epsilon, Redips, OG Mega Man. And some uh, enemies. Duckbill Mole, Dragoon, uh, Ninetales, and some areas in the game. I'll probably won't recognize most of these. I actually don't have Sketch 68. I'm not sure what that one would be, unless it didn't load. Yeah, and that is pretty much it. So we go back to our... Uh... Did it say I collected all the sketches? No. So I'm not sure where sketch 50, uh, 68 was it is. But once you get all uh, that last sketch, 
you would get the purple scarf. Unfortunately, I can't show it off. And I'm not gonna try to find the last sketch and show off a video with like, that'll be like a minute long of that. But uh, if we go to our data though, there's also a couple other things here. We're gonna get all the field items, so it's not from there. Oh, you know what it might be? I think you need to collect 90 weapons. Which means I would have to buy one more weapon from the Lograno secret shop and then grind for other weapons or something. Is it 90? I don't remember. I'll just plaster something on the screen to say what, how you get that sketch. Or maybe it's getting force medals. I don't know. I'll just put it on screen right now what the condition is. And here you can see other stuff like how long, how many times I put them in battle. As you can see, X pretty much has 100%. I don't think you can get higher, higher than 99. Unfortunately, Spider still counts on this, so he actually got the 98. Zero got 90, Cinnamon got 80. Marino got the last little bit of it. I actually did not use Axel pretty much at all. So unfortunately, he's just gonna sit there at 2%. Maybe it'll race up if I decide to do some other things. But other than that, we're done. I'm actually, just for classic his case, we're gonna switch to the red scarf and go to save. All right, and we're done with Mega Man X command mission. As soon as I save, right after that, I will drop in the pictures for the treasure token collections of figurines. But other than that, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed the series.